we're with Emma O'Driscoll. Em, not the result we're after today. Yeah, unfortunately not. Um, however, I think we can take a lot from the game. Our last quarter was phenomenal. I think we went through our stats at the end of the game with Lisa um, and there's a lot we can work on moving forward. So I guess we just focus on the opportunities to come. What was the message from Lisa post-match? Message was we, we needed to fight a bit harder in the first three, three quarters and us girls recognised that out there, um, but unfortunately couldn't get the ball rolling until the last. So I think going into the next few games, we're going to hunt the ball, um, hopefully get it moving forward. And, and our, our tackle pressure in the last quarter was, was great. So we need to keep that going. A very high stoppage game, heaps of uh, contested footy, wasn't there? Yeah, the pies were hot, hot pies on us, um, that's for sure. I think every time you picked up the ball, um, you expected to get smashed, and I think our midfield was just as tough in there, so we've just got to keep, keep doing that moving forward. Gabby O'Sullivan out of the game early with that shoulder injury. Um, I guess the girls will all get around her. She was pretty devastated. Yeah, absolutely. We all love Gabs, just like we, we get around each other. A um, bit of a sisterhood here, so we'll definitely wrap our arms around her and, and try and... I guess, hope that she's okay. To some positives, first game of the season for Turbo, Kiara Bowers. Uh, she didn't miss a beat, did she, with a game-high 18 tackles? She's absolutely incredible, Turbo. Um, we call her the GOAT for a reason. She really does raise the standards, and that's her leadership style, and I think that we can take a lot from her. It's an absolute priv privilege to be able to play with her, um, so I think she's only going to go onwards and upwards from here. And we're concentrating on some positives. Uh, first, AFLW goals for Ange Stannett and Orla Lally. Uh, always a great moment, isn't it? Oh, so cool. Like I said, if I had the energy, I think all of us backs would have been down there celebrating with them. We did give the double Cobras in the back line. Um, it's great for those girls and, and there'll be many more to come because they're, they're only improving every, each and every week and I think it's going to be great to see how they go for the rest of the season. We know you're disappointed, but your own game was uh, pretty superb. 14 intercept uh, possessions. Oh, gosh. It was OK, but I wish it didn't come down there, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, yeah, I think us backs really um, held it up down there. And I think that when we got the opportunity to bring the ball to ground, that's, that's exactly what we were focusing on. The last thing I was thinking of was, was trying to intercept the ball. It was just beating my one-on-one. -on -one, and I think that we ended up help, holding our own in the end. Are you feeling back to your best after that leg laceration you copped in pre-season? Yeah, look, I was a bit slow last week, but thank God for Laura Pugh, the general down there. She really did hold us up. And I think moving into this week, um, all the backs stepped up and I think we really worked for each other. So again, um, our back line, I think, is gonna, he's got big things coming for the rest of the year. Home to take on the Hawks on Sunday. What are we focusing on this week? Look, bloody excited for the Hawks. I think we've got a lot to focus on coming from that game. I think if we can play like that last quarter, we're a high-pressure team, get the ball moving forward nice and fast um, and hopefully snag some more goals.